All right, I'd like to tell you about um, a harmonic oscillator where you have two crates, and the two crates are positioned like this. So you have um, your basic harmonic oscillator, a spring attached to a wall with a mass M1. Uh, but on top of mass M1, there's another crate, M2, that's going to be held there um, just by friction. So while this is frictionless, we will need friction to be present on this between these two surfaces so that the, this box can oscillate back and forth in simple harmonic motion as well. Okay, so... Um, Usually the way these questions work is they want to know, like, what's the maximum X that you can pull this back? What's what's the maximum amplitude you can pull it back? And have this still um, remain at rest on there. Okay, so um, let me show you how you do this. What you do is you are going to um, look at these um, as one whole system and it, and then just separately. So actually it goes separately first, then we'll look at it as one whole system second. Okay, so if you want to know the maximum acceleration that M2 can have, then um, at when it's going back and forth, hang on, let me draw it, let's say this is at its maximum, that's where you have the greatest acceleration at its maximum distance from the equilibrium. So let's say you're at x equals a, then um, just on M2 we have the we have the force of gravity and we have the normal force. Now if the equilibrium is that way, if it's in that direction, then this force, the frictional force, is at its max. Force of static friction is at its max. Okay, so I'm going to say that um, A equals F net over M. And um, so the A of block 2 will equal the maximum force it can have. So the maximum force is when um, you have the maximum force friction, which is going to be mu S times the normal force. That's the maximum force of friction. And then that's going to be divided by M2. Well, the normal force is... Um, the normal force is m2 times g divided by m2. And so a2, the maximum, this is the max, looks like it's going to be mu s times g. Okay, well, um, then what you do is you come back to the system again. Now the maximum that the system can have the maximum acceleration the system can have is um, is this. If you have more than that, this box is going to slide off. And so um, let's figure out what the maximum we can pull it back at is then. So I'm going to say um, A max for the system will equal the net force on the system use that as net force, all over the mass of the system. So uh, the A max of the system is mu s times g. I'm getting that from here. I'm just bringing that over here. So that's mu s times g. Now, um, the net force on this system, if you look, um, the all the normal forces and these these. Um, y forces cancel out and the only force that we have is the force of the spring even the force of friction when this is being accelerated one way the force the friction on the other one is the other way action reaction forces so the only force on this is just k of the spring yeah you need to know k so it'd be k of the spring times the amplitude see that's kx and then divide it by the mass, and the mass is uh, m1 plus m2. So what's the maximum amplitude? I'm thinking the maximum amplitude for this not to slide, just solve for the maximum amplitude. So it's going to be, um, I'm thinking it's m1 plus m2 
times mu s times k, uh, excuse me, times g rather, uh, that's a g, divided by k. This is the maximum amplitude. If you pull it back any further, it, this top block is going to fall off. Okay, that's a short video tonight. All right, take care.